She hit our screens in 2003 on Neighbours as Izzy Hoyland. She is the lead singer of Australian electro-pop band Rogue Traders and was invited as one of three hosts and mentor on X Factor Australia and New Zealand. A recording artist, actress, author and television personality, but there was one string missing from her bow, fashion design. With that in mind and her warm, loving and very cheeky personality, it's only fitting that her new children's clothing range is called Just That. We're introducing you to Natalie Bassingthwaite and her cheeky collection. a string to your bow you're an actress and an entertainer and a mentor and an author yeah. now you're a fashion designer <laughs> tell us a bit about your range oh my gosh look I mean I crazily decided to uh, venture into um, unknown territory <laughs> and uh, yeah look I just wanted to see as a woman what I was capable of mm -hmm. um, I've always had like a, a love of fashion design architecture mm -hmm. obsessed with interior design so yeah, I just dove in and wanted to see what happened and here we are. Now I have a brand, Cheeky. We started off with Cheeky Mini which was for kids 0 to 4 and mm. now we've got Cheeky Kid up to size 7 and Cheeky Bear Skincare. So it's, it's yeah evolving every and we've only been launched since March. It's amazing. <laughs> so tell us a bit about the Cheeky ethos and, and because it's some of your products are actually made out of bamboo which is amazing. Yeah. Tell us what made you go down that path. Well my both my kids had sensitive skin. My mm. son still has it a little bit, or he's kind of growing out it a bit now. Um, he was in bamboo sheets, and I mm. noticed that that was good for his skin when he was sleeping. And then I thought, well, where, where are the clothes made out of this amazing fabric that's good for the environment, great for skin, yeah. and look cool? And yeah, I couldn't yeah. find anything. So, yeah, I started sampling all of this bamboo fabric and went, oh my God, it actually feels incredible mm. um, and has all these benefits. Where do you get the inspiration behind the designs? Do you have a lot of involvement in the design of the clothes? Look, for me, a lot of people do think that I'm the actual designer, but I'm really the creative director and I guess the CEO of the company, so mm. a bit more of a business <laughs> head on with this, this kind of thing. But um, creatively, it's my, it's my brand identity. So mm. I came up with the name, I came up with the look and the feel with a, a branding company that, that I wanted, and it was really important to me to kind of really love that monochromatic <laughs> feel mm. and um, and I just like kids in that kind of colour palette too. I know I probably should like the pinks and the blues but it's not really my, my sort of thing. No. And I like just an urban edgy feel too, drop mm. crotch pants and a slouchy feel that the kids can feel really comfortable in. There's nothing worse than spending a lot of money on something and your kids go, I'm not wearing it, it's too yeah. itchy. Yep. So this stuff is so soft and by being here today everyone's like, they can't believe the feel of it. So mm. yeah. And where do you see Cheeky going in the future? Oh, the sky's the limit. <laughs> you know what, when I, when I came up with the, the concept and the brand, I mm. already had this idea that I wanted it to grow to um, older kids. So first of all, I thought we'll just go babies and then we'll extend and then maybe we'll go to tweens and homewares and skincare. And so yeah. I wanted a, a brand or a name that could kind of fit all of those things. Yep which is why Cheeky Mini, Cheeky Kid, Cheeky Bear, so it seems to fit so far. Yeah. So, and yeah. how did you come up with the name Cheeky? Do you know what, I've actually had that name um, in the back of my pocket <laughs> for probably about 10 years, yep. but initially it was C-H-I-K-I, mm. and then when I started this brand, I had my kids' names, Harper and Hendrix, mm. and then I woke up one night and had this epiphany that that was just a crazy idea, because what if it all went belly up and my kids' names were attached to this really terrible business? <laughs> or it went amazing and then I sold it and then, you know, it just felt wrong. So, yeah, yeah so I kind of went back to that name that I had initially, Cheeky, but then put the two H's in there mm. for Harper and Hendrix. Yeah. So for me, it's still there, but it's a bit more, you so know. you got your kids with you all the time. Yeah, so it's still a part of them and it's inspired by them, but yeah. it's still, and she is, you know, a life force and then internal balance, so mm. kind of fits. As a busy mum, do you believe in work-life balance? And if so, what does work-life balance mean to you? I believe in work-life balance. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my dream would be to, you know, like I think I was saying to someone the other day, is to work three days a week, um, be family full-time outside of that. But 
with growing a business, like anyone who knows, is very intense. Um, but the good thing about it is I work from home yeah. and that means the kids can kind of run around and be in and out of the office. But the bad thing is the kids can kind of run yeah, around yeah, and be in it. So it's, you never really have a solid eight hours work. It's just all over the place, which means sometimes you work till 10 at night, but mm. it's just how it, how it is. Yeah, at yeah. least I don't go to work and you know, miss them the whole day. Yeah, yeah. So, so for those mums that do work at home with their ba with their babies, I yeah. guess, um, what's some advice, I guess, tips on, on I think creating that work at home because it's some sometimes you like I know I work from home so I'll wake up and I'll probably be in my pajamas till twelve o'clock you know yes like, yeah so is it you know I, I've got a friend who will, who'll get up and she'll literally go out at eight thirty and walk around the block and come back in so she feels like she's getting back yes. into work so you do stuff like to do that yeah. <laughs> so it feels I like you're walking into I'm your work office I'm going to do that <laughs> no look I. I, I was making the mistake of, you know, I had my phone beside my bed and I was mm. one of those people that I got up in the morning, I'd check my email straight away and it just, it wasn't great for the kids and yeah. it wasn't great for me and I felt stressed as soon as I woke up. So now I, you know, look at my phone to see the time and then I don't touch it until kind of after nine, get to spend the morning with the kids in our jammies and have breakfast and then get already and depending on what's happened in the day go from there mm -hmm. um, same as at night I tend to go okay my husband and I say between five and seven let's not have our phones on yeah. dinner bath you know story time bed so it's yeah and again that doesn't happen all the time I'm yeah. not the perfect <laughs> mum like sometimes I'm like oh I've got to do something good it's got to be now um, but that's that's what we really try for yeah yeah, yeah. and so in relation to I guess work and, and everything What's your, what do you like to dress like when you're at home? I mean, obviously yeah. you don't dress in your beautiful skin and Theodore every day no, to go to work. I don't wear this every day. <laughs> um, no, I, um, look, I tend to wear, it's still Scanlon though, but like yeah. my drop crotch black, they're kind of jean pants. Yeah. I've bought four pairs since they came out about 18 months ago and I pretty much live in them almost every day. Yep. Um, I might wear a Adidas wedge, so at least yeah. I feel casual, not too dressy, still comfortable. So yep. if I leave home, I can still look all right. And I'm pretty cash, so a yeah. t-shirt or a cute jacket or something it's like comfy that. Comfy wear. Comfy. Yep. What's been one of your biggest fashion faux pas? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sure there have been many. Um, I kind of keep going back to like rogue traders days, but then I'm going to excuse myself and say, well, hang on, I was in like out, you know, costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure if we went back there, there was some pretty wild and crazy. I think I had a, um, a, a Union Jack flag dress in one of the video clips. So, but hey, I was a pop star back then or a rock star or well, whatever you want to call haven't it. Haven't you got the band back together? I heard last I know, week. I know. <laughs> something we uh, rocked up to a rehearsal space and it was the very first rehearsal space that we'd ever been in um, my husband and I met there and yeah eight years later we're back there rehearsing for a gig it was so fun kind of forget how many we had so many hits like yeah, I yeah. forgot you know yeah. I've been busy doing so many other things and what do you love more acting singing oh. designing kids wear I don't know which I like best mm. I think that I just always like a challenge and I love the creative process in yeah. whatever format. My, my husband always says that he thinks that I like interior design more than anything. He says he sees my, yeah. like, so I might move the furniture and the house around like 10 times a year and like redecorate that. and like yeah. that lounge is now going to go in that lounge room. He's my like, husband hates it because he comes home and he'll trip over something. Yeah, that, wasn't like, that was morning. not there, um, <laughs> but I love it. So. Yeah. yeah. So we're here at the uh, Essential Baby and Toddler Show and we're yeah. launching your brand new Season, collection. Yeah, collection know, for this yeah. season. Tell us a bit about that collection. Yeah, I mean, look, this season is, we're still going to have the monochromatic palette, which yep. we love. There's a little bit of a tan kind of element coming through or a beigey kind of chalk element. Um, yep. But it's all about the prints and the patterns. So yeah. we've got the animal print, we've got the check prints, some arrow prints. It's a lot bolder than the first season. Mm. Just as comfortable. Um, most of the things are 95% bamboo, 5% mm. elastane. So mm. it's just... It feels Divine. like silk, you know. Mm. Kids love to wear it, it's comfy, but it's cool and edgy. So same drop crotch pants, oversized dresses with huge pockets. It's all about the detail as well. We've got a lot of mesh, mesh visors and backpacks and 
cool mesh jackets with see-through pockets and... Are you working on a new collection yet? Yes, of course! <laughs> this is the thing, which I never knew, but yeah. you know, it just keeps cycling. You've got to be like three so seasons fun. ahead, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So yeah. define fashion. Ooh. Fashion should be individual. I think you should never be afraid to stand out from the crowd and take chances, but wear what you want to wear. Yeah. Be brave. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh. I grew up in Wollongong. The first thing I do when I wake up is look at my phone. <laughs> if I could be better at anything, it would be cooking. Oh wow! I'm a happiest when I'm with my kids. Yeah. I'm not, when I'm not working, I am. Rearranging the house. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. Oh, I wish I could... Um, fly? <laughs> Most people don't know that I... Most people don't know that I... Have a wig collection. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> a wig collection. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Been growing it for years. <laughs> you never know when you need to just, you know, bring one out. Bring out some bangs. Do a, do a video clip with your friends. <laughs> when I grow up, I wanted to be an architect. Yes. I couldn't live without my family. My greatest achievement is my children. <laughs> my most annoying habit is. Oh my god, there's probably so many. Um, <laughs> Being working all the time. Yeah. My hidden talent is. <laughs> hidden talent. <laughs> like hoping, but maybe that's like what I want it to be. I don't have a hidden talent. What hashtag best describes you? Um, oh my gosh! I don't know. Cray cheeky. Cray? <laughs> yeah, cheeky. Yeah, totally. Well, thank you for joining us on the show thank today. You. Had a ball. Thank you. And well done with your collection. Now, where can everyone find your collection? So online, yep. cheeky.co, C-H-I-K-H-I.co. But yep. watch this space because we've had so much interest for wholesaling mm. all around the world. So Fantastic. you never know. Thank you. Thank you. Head on over to istyletv.com.au for all the details and links to where you can buy the full Cheeky collection. Thanks for watching iStyle TV and don't forget to subscribe to iStyle TV on YouTube, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Tam Wrigley and we'll see you next time. Um, we did a gig recently yeah. and... Um, oh look, the stock, there's the girl behind me trying to get stock out. So. That's oh. alright. Um, we'll come back to that. We'll, back okay. to that. Right. we'll, let, her, we'll let her get her stock out.